welcome to your own personal virtual tour of the famous Winchester Mystery House located in the heart of San Jose, California. Once home to Sarah Winchester, who following the death of both her infant daughter and her husband, built this home after a medium told her that while channeling her husband, he said that Sarah needed to build a home and never stop building. According to the medium, her husband wanted to say that herself and the fortune that the family had received were being haunted by the ghosts of those who died at the barrel of the Winchester rifle, which her husband's family were very well known for creating. From the day construction began in 1884, it never stopped until the day Sarah died in 1922, or, according to some, construction never ended at all. There are claims of hearing hammers and saws going at all hours of the night and day. No blueprints of the house were ever created back in Sarah's day, and it's unclear really what she was doing while building this house. There are doors and windows that open into walls. The famous stairwell that leads to a dead end at the ceiling. As well as a door that leads to a three foot drop at the front of the house. Nicknamed the door to nowhere. The seance room, as you'll be told during your tour, has one way in, but three ways out. The first is the door that you will walk through to enter the room. Another is through a barred window, and the third and final exit is through a door that drops down into the first floor sink of the kitchen. It is said that these passageways were created to confuse the ghost haunting Sarah. The house itself is so large that if you were to be separated during your tour, chances of you finding your way out are very slim, or so our tour guide said. While walking through this house, I myself personally felt a heaviness around me. It was almost as if there were eyes on the back of my head watching me walk through this house. There were quite a few interesting photos that I took while on this tour, and one such photo is this of the outside garden room, where in the midst of the hazy sun coming through the window, you can very faintly see what looks to be the outline of a dress. Is this merely a reflection of the sun, or is it Sarah Winchester herself? watching strangers wander through her house day in and day out. The very craftsmanship of this house and the care and love that she put into it explains why some believe the house itself to be haunted. With strange passageways and stairwells and the deep dark basement that we were not allowed to enter, it's really hard not to let your imagination run wild. Did you just hear footsteps behind you? Was there a shadow in that stairwell? Or what was that smell of fresh bread that you smelt while walking through the kitchens? We may never truly know the secret behind the Winchester Mystery House, but as for me, I do believe. And, and for those of you who do not believe in ghosts, well, they don't believe in you either. So that is the end. I really hope you guys all enjoyed your virtual tour of the Winchester House. Hope you enjoyed these photographs. Unfortunately, there were no videos allowed to be taken within the house and I did not have a way to sneak a video because it would be a bit awkward walking around with my phone while taking a video. If you guys have any questions about the Winchester Mystery House, please comment down below. And as always, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring that bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos and videos are very sporadic at the moment. So with that, I'm going to be going. I wish you all a very spooky evening and I wish you lots of love and whiskers or for the Halloween season, lots of zombie hearts and bat wings. And with that, I wish you a good night. Love you. Bye.